Okay, good evening, good evening, Lupus Warriors, and welcome to another video brought to you by the Laura's Lupus channel. Welcome, 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 Lupus Warriors. How are you guys doing today? Uh, I hope that this video finds you um, blessed and staying as safe and healthy as possible. And my prayer for you today is that God will cover you, bless you, preserve you, and strengthen you for whatever task and journey is ahead of you. My friends, that is my prayer for you today, okay? And so I wanted to come to you with another video. Um, we talked a few weeks ago about lupus and inflammation, but I didn't give you some signs of inflammation on that video. I was intent to do a part two to give you some signs uh, as far as inflammation in the body, you know. But as we know, lupus is a disease. So how is, well, let me just back up a little bit. How is lupus and inflammation connected? Let's do an overview of that really quick. We know that lupus is a disease that consists of inflammation that fires off in different parts of the body. With any type of disease uh, of the body, inflammation is the culprit of that disease. Uh, in the last video, we discussed, um, you know, any type of uh, heart issues, inflammation, you know, um, you know, any type of problems with the kidney, inflammation, asthma, inflammation. Uh, you know, with uh, diabetes, inflammation, cancer, inflammation. So you get the picture that I'm trying to paint. So with any type of disease in the body, inflammation is the culprit. So inflammation is really a good thing, but inflammation, when there's too much inf inflammation and there is no relief, then that's when inflammation becomes a problem. And so why do I say that inflammation is a good thing, okay? Well, inflammation is a part of your immune system. And inflammation happens in the body when the immune system goes into action to fight against foreign invaders. Whenever something enters into your body, your body is made to fight it off. Something that doesn't belong, the body goes into action to fight it off. And it does that by creating inflammation. And it, sit, it sends certain cells to that area. Let's say that um, you get a cut, okay? And so your immune system, in order to protect, you, to protect you from infection, is going to send certain cells to that area and inflammation is going to build up as it tries to repair itself. So inflammation in itself is not a bad thing, but too much inflammation built up over time without any relief causes a problem because when inflammation is done working on that, you know, specific foreign invader, then what it does is that the body goes back to normal. But with lupus, lupus is the body causing inflammation because it's not only fighting against foreign invaders, but with lupus, the body is fighting against itself. Is fighting against healthy tissues, healthy cells, healthy organs, and healthy organ systems, okay? And so inflammation and the immune system, they work hand in hand. And they are the cleaners, get this, the cleaners, the healers, and the repairs of the body. So that whole system that I just explained to you as far as what inflammation does it shows you how inflammation and the immune system works hand in hand. So the, it really, they're, they're good things to have. You know, the body is amazing. You know, it's meant to repair, heal itself, and to fight against whatever tries to enter into it. And it has so many barriers. Before something can enter into your body, it has to go to, you know, go through a lot of barriers before it gets inside and can cause damage. So your immune system and inflammation, they go hand in hand, they work together, and they are known as the cleaners, healers, and repairers of the body. I thought that was pretty amazing. 
So what are the signs of inflammation in the body? Let's get into that. And I'm going to be looking at my notes here. What are some signs that inflammation is occurring inside of your body? And some of these that I'm going to list, you may have had this to happen to you already. But just know that when it's happening, this is a sign of inflammation. So the first one on the list, and there's... Uh, maybe there's about 20 of them. I may not go through all of them. I may just go through um, the most important ones on the list. And then I may leave it, uh, the entire list, in the description box below. Okay? So let's get into it. What are some signs of inflammation going on in the body? Well, there's belching, bloating, burning skin, constipation. That's a sign of inflammation a cough or a sore throat, cramping, cramping is a sign of inflammation, dark circles and bags under the eyes is a sign of inflammation, diarrhea is a sign of inflammation, fatigue, fever and chills, headaches, itchy ears, eyes and throat is a sign of inflammation. And with the itchy ears, eyes, and throat, that can happen when you're experiencing allergies or if you have hay fever, seasonal um, allergies, the itching and the inflammation is a sign of uh, the itchy eyes, ears, and throat is a sign of inflammation caused by the irritants in the air that's irritating you. Also, uh, itchy ears, itchy eyes, itchy throat can also be a result if you eat a food that you're allergic to. And so an allergic reaction in the body also starts the process of inflammation. Um, joint pain, loss of appetite, memory problems, muscle spasms, rash, hives, acne are all signs of inflammation on the skin. Rough, bumpy skin is a sign of inflammation. A stuffy or runny nose, that can be a sign of inflammation. Uh, rhinitis is the medical term for a uh, runny nose. Rhinitis, what is it? It's inflammation of the nose. Uh, water retention, that is a sign of inflammation. And so I don't think I left anything out of the list. So I won't be putting it um, in the description box below because I went through all of them. If you have any questions or if you have any additional information that you want to add uh, to the list regarding um, what are the signs of inflammation, please feel free to leave that um, in the comments section. Um, this list that I went over today may not be an all-inclusive list of all the signs of inflammation. And this right here is just really a gist of what inflammation is. Uh, you can do research, um, you know, uh, any type of medical uh, uh, papers or research, and it will give you a more in-depth description of what takes place with inflammation. But again, inflammation can be a good thing and can also be a bad thing. If it does, if the body does not get a chance to go back to normal after inflammation takes place. Okay, so that is all I have today regarding signs of inflammation. And as I always say at the end of every video, my friend, there is life after lupus. So if you enjoy the content that I provide on this channel, please take a moment, if you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Also, uh, hit the like button, comment. I love uh, responding and reading your comments and share the information. And the reason I request that you share the information um, is because you help to spread the message of hope and support to the lupus community all around the world, okay? So thank you so much for stopping by today. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. Uh, stay strong, lupus warriors. Stay encouraged. Stay blessed. And I will talk to you soon on the next video. Bye for now, everybody.